So, uh, here we have a 2013 Ford Mustang right here that I've stripped down. So you can see. Wait, now you can see. Focus. Anyway, we're going to be putting six lights in the back of the car and four lights, four lights in the front. So, that means we have to get some lights. I'll be right back. Hey. Let's see, I got the six red lights right there and the four headlights right there. There's eight, uh, three, three mil lights right here and then two five mil. So we can put those aside. look in my drawer here and we can use this and whoever's wondering what that was it's a soldering iron so uh yeah and I recommend no one use one unless you're older than around 12 I'm guessing if you're older than 12 and have parental vision sure I guess you can use it if you're older than 14 you can use it by yourself but you have to be taught by an adult uh, let's see got a little stand here I'll be back. Hey guys. Alright, I'm back. I got I got the soldering iron plugged up right there. And uh we're ready to go so far. Cause that's that's heating up right there. Um go back to my drawer again. Let's get this. Each light has a voltage, so it's 21.6 volts in all. That divided by 2 is 10.6. Yeah, I have it all written down on this paper right here. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's get some wires. I'll be back when I get the wire. Um, here you have a wire, and then, wait a minute, and then we have some wire strippers, I'm going to go about an inch down, and do that, and pull that wire off with a wire cover, and then, this copper right here, this copper wire, you twist that up, and you gotta do that to both sides. Nice and twisted. If, if, if you can see it, there it is. Alright, nice and twisted. And then we do it to the other side. Alright, 
Both sides are twisted. After you get one wire prepared, you have to get quite a few others prepared. And I already done those, so let's go. Get those off the thing. Let's get that off. Now, I advise anybody who's using a soldering iron to, uh, you know, wear eye protection because sometimes they pop. So, it gets everywhere. So, eye protection. When you also, when you first start it, when it's first getting he heated up, wear, wear some type of hand protection all right wear some type of hand protection some gloves um because when you when you're getting started here it it tends to pop it like tends to form a bubble and then it pops so you know you don't have to but it's you know it's highly advised to wear hand protection when you're first starting and when you're buying stuff like this they don't tell you that on the box or anything you, you end up finding out that you need to do that you can also wear them throughout you know throughout the whole process but I wear them at the beginning and also I'm taking them off so y'all can see what's going on around here so uh, let me go over here get my work light so y'all can see better How's that? That looks good. Okay, I just need to find somewhere to put it. Wait, that wait, that might blur out the camera. Is that blurring y'all out? No. We good. We good. Hey. All right. When you're soldering, make sure you make sure you have a clean workspace. So you don't catch anything on fire. Ouch. And also, whenever you're soldering, um, whenever you're soldering, and you're like putting lights to wires together, you know, and you, some people, you know, they put the wires and the lights together and then they do that. You can just you can just make a little B of it on this or any platform except wood and stuff like that. A uh, plate of uh, aluminum is ideal. But here we go. Let's uh, turn it so you can see it. I'm gonna try not to breathe in the smoke. I'm just saying. Now we can start making some beads. <coughs> Gosh. Just just because there's a camera here doesn't mean you can smoke all up in my face. All right. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead make two here there you go come on now come on man gosh alright Now we can take a light 
or a Y or whichever you prefer to do first. Oh, here's a tip. When you're putting the tip of the wire right there in the in the solder bead, uh, uh, make make sure you kind of somewhat cut your wire kind of short. The shorter it is, the more solid it gets. So then it's easier to push push through these little bees. So that's just a little tip. You can use it, or you don't have to. It's just it's just a little tip. So you take this right here. Move my hand out the way. And stick that wire in there. Just like so. Alright. Pretty much what you learn in school, it's... Which, what I'm going to be doing today, and the days after this, there's just going to be a whole series on, you know, putting lights in putting lights in this car. And it's just gonna be a whole series. You know what I'm saying? Ford Mustang. And uh Um pretty much what what you do learning shop class and stuff. But in this series I'm gonna be day daisy chaining these lights. And that's pretty much positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative. So pretty much. And these LED lights, another name for them, are um, diodes. Always keep in mind the stay, stay. The longer one is the positive. The shorter one is is the negative. So, and it's the same when every diode will like this anyway. Negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. So short is negative, long is positive. It's a very easy concept if um you're into this stuff. Let's see. I want to hook up the negative first, so the positive can go to the batteries. And also another helpful tip, if you ever actually do this, which, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, when you're soldering these lights to the wires, make sure you spread, make sure you spread the lights apart. Well, spread the, uh, man, I forgot the name for these. Make sure you spread these things apart. So when you're soldering them, to a wire, they uh, won't get soldered together, and you won't make a and you won't make a complete connection on both of them. You just want that connection to be on the negative. I'm moving my hand. Actually. There we go. Okay, I'll be back. It's acting up. Alright, guys. Um, I knew it was going to end up doing that. And I don't like it when it does that. But anyway. There we go, right there.
since ouch that's hot and then since you know these are the tail lights the tail lights are so close together they gotta be the wire has to be trimmed down to an estimated wavelength to each wire to each light that's it right there now let's strip it which may be a little hard There we go. All right. Okay. Now, let's go for another. Well, I think these are perfect lengths, too. Yay. Let's see, there's three lights on each side. Well, that got messed up. Let's just use this. Where'd my scissors go? Oh, there they are, right there. Oh man. I'm trying to make a video here, thank you. Come on. Weirdo. Positive, negative. Negative goes to the positive.
Come on. Give me a long ass video. I can play, boy. How about that? Oh, also, I need to talk to y'all about some, um, so, uh, YouTube apparently made a recent, a recent change to something, and, uh, and apparently it would affect me, because I'm not getting a lot of views, shares, likes, comments, subscribers. So anybody who is watching this video right now and whoever's watched my other videos, if y'all are here right now, I need y'all to start commenting, liking my videos, subscribing, all that jazz because um, if I haven't, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, y'all wouldn't know until I just said it right now in this video. And, um, this is, this kind of scared me, um, in, um, in the beginning because I knew it would affect me because I'm not getting enough views to, you know, not... Um, you know, stay up there. So, what this means to me is, if I don't get enough of that stuff, my YouTube channel will just crash, and my subscribers will will only be able to see my will only be able to see my vids. And if y'all remember my channel, y'all are just gonna have to. Well, those of you who like my content but are not subscribed, are not going to be able to see my vids anymore. Unless y'all search for them directly in the search bar in YouTube, or y'all search up my channel, which my channel might not even show up. So, I figured I should just tell y'all that. And, if y'all don't believe me, which, you know, it makes sense because, you know, I'm asking you for subscribers, likes, comments, and stuff. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's very YouTubish, but I'm not, I'm not being one of those little, um, bees that ask you, you know, for all that stuff all the time. But... If you will, for this new update for YouTube, if you would do that for me, that would be awesome. I'm just saying. That'd be awesome. But anyway. Right here we have, um... We have... Bleh. I can't talk. Right here we have a, uh combination of two lights right here so far and if you notice what I've done here what I've done here is um I, I've daisy chained them so far positive negative and then the negative hooks to this positive and then that negative hooks to another positive so pretty much it's going to look like that so we that's pretty much it
There we go. Come on. Come on. You got it. You, you, you got this. Come on. You got this. There you go. Actually, hold on. Let's um, clean this off real quick. Also, shout out to Gerber. They, they make some really good knives. Whoop. Oh, also, did I ever tell y'all that this is caution, like, hot? This right here, super hot. Come on, man. I'm trying to get this top lip right there. It just doesn't want to work. Oh, there we go. I don't know if they're gonna be big enough. They don't even look big enough, actually. I like I, I like these things, but then then again, I don't because of that. Uh, all right, I'll be back when I have another light wired. Have a light wire. <coughs> okay, I'm back. I forgot these two have to go together. So, without further ado, let's let's do this. But but we gotta make some smoke first because this if it stays on stays on here, if it stays on here, you know. I can't, I can't get it off. Well, maybe I can. Maybe if I can use some, some vin vinegar, you know what I'm saying? Why are you taking some?
There you go, man. Okay, now let's let's hold it down, and then we do this right. Wait, can I y'all see that? Wait, hold up. Can y'all see that? Yeah, somewhat. I can somewhat see that. See, I'm trying to explain it to you the best I can. Because at the same time, I don't think you can see what I'm doing. I think I'm just telling you what I think you see. Some moments, I think you can actually see it. But then, you know, other moments, hey, I don't think they can see this, so this video is po pretty much pointless. But hey, I want to try to teach Daisy Chain. Then there's also another type of chaining. I forgot the name of it. I forgot what the name of it was, but it's like positive to positive to positive, and then you do like negative something like that. I haven't really m memorized that one. Dude, if this little thing don't soften up, 